Yeah, well, back in 2015, the Talbot County Council voted on whether or not to remove the statue. Back then, seven years ago, the vote was unanimous. They decided to keep it, but the fight continued. Just before 10 a.m. Monday morning, the last public Confederate statue in Maryland was hoisted from its base in front of the Talbot County Courthouse. I think it sent a racist message, and it sent a message of who belongs and who doesn't. The memorial was dedicated in 1916 and commemorates the more than 80 local soldiers who fought for the Confederacy. Standing at 13 feet tall, it has been the center of a lot of controversy. In September, the county council voted 3 to 2 in favor of removing it. It's a good day of accountability. Um, but it does symbolize that we still have a lot more work to do. Richard Potter is the president of the Talbot County branch of the NAACP. They first approached the county about relocating the monument in 2015, and in May of 2021, along with the ACLU, filed a lawsuit to have it removed. If the objection was that we had a Confederate monument that was a symbolism of hate to African Americans sitting on a courthouse lawn. But not everyone wanted to see the 106-year-old monument removed, with some posting on the Save the Talbot Boys Facebook page about erasing history. Potter says they want to work with the county to create a new Civil War monument. Um, that's not offensive to any one group of people, but to tell the story accurately and authentically, as it happened and transpired here in Talbot County. Now, the Talbot Boys Monument is going to be moved to the Cross Keys Battlefield, which is in Virginia. They say Talbot County soldiers fought for both sides, but it's not cheap. $82,000 had to be raised to remove the monument, pack it up, and move it to that battlefield safely. Reporting live tonight, Sean Stryker for WJZ.